Penrith Castle was built between 1399 and 1470. It was built as a defence against the Scottish raids from Scotland into England uh, and it is believed to have been first built by a man called William Strickland who later became the Bishop of Carlisle and the castle is situated within the town of Penrith in Cumbria, England. Uh, it's easily accessible by rail as the castle is directly opposite the railway station. The castle was itself later developed by the Neville family and it passed into the hands of the Crown. That's the Kings of England, yeah? And it, and it, it is believed to have been the residence of King Richard III when he was the Duke of Gloucester and Lord Warden of the Marches towards Scotland. King Richard III, he of the Hunchback, who supposedly killed the princes in the Tower, now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York. The son of York was, of course, King Richard III. Uh, the castle and the town are part of the Crown Estate and remained so until the reign of William III, who gave it and most of the other Crown property in Cumberland to his friend Hans William Bentnick, the first Earl of Portland. The castle uh, eventually passed from the Earls and Dukes of Portland to the Dukes of Devonshire, who sold it, believe it or not, to the Lancaster and Carlisle Railway Company. Uh, yeah and it's in their grounds, but it later passed in the ownership to Penrith Urban District Council, who converted it into a public park. It's, it's a ruin, as you can see, but it's an attractive ruin. And when I visited, I felt a strange sense of, of almost peace about the place. I certainly did not encounter the ghost of Richard III, but perhaps he walks, who knows. Penrith Castle.